Alright everyone, it is me, Jensen Chan. And uh, I think my next door neighbor must be really stressed out because he's been fucking smoking or she's been smoking wherever the hell lives behind me. Uh, he's been smoking like crazy and it's like because the... I know I mentioned this yesterday, I'll mention it again, but because the illegal immigrants did such a shitty job of my apartment, right? The bottom of the, like where the wall meets the floor, there's actually a big gap. So it's actually got air pockets coming in from <laughs> the other apartment. Uh, this particular room also had the same problem, but then when, like, the, uh, the angry-looking Hasidic Jew guy that, like, owns the building and then sold it, he actually saw, I actually told him about the problem about the thing, and he's like, hmm, okay. And with his angry-looking stern face, he's like, he told, he told the contractor, hey, you need to plug that hole and fix it. And he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, he definitely seems like so you don't want to mess with. And I was pretty grateful that he did at least, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, fix that product, because otherwise the smoke would have been coming from this room too, and I would have been completely fucked, because uh, there's also a closet over here that has the same exact problem. They didn't even finish installing the baseboard, I think it's called. And, like, oh, God, if I actually knew that this could, that could potentially be a problem at the time, I would have told the guy, like, oh, yeah, there's a problem, the same problem over there, and there's the same problem on the other room. And it's like, I have to constantly keep cleaning it because of the uh, the gaps, you know. Um, so, uh, and, and then of course, because I have empathy that I know, ah, he's, a, he's the landlord. So obviously what does he care about? Right. He cares about the money and is the property, you know, in good shape because obviously he's not going to make any money if it's in shitty shape. And I just tell him, oh yeah, it might potentially cause property damage, but I have to clean it. Right. Cause if I don't clean it, it might cause property damage. So I'm kind of screwed either way. And, you know, you're going to lose money. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll do the best I can. He's like, Hey, this guy sounds like he cares about my shit. I better go fix this problem. <laughs> God damn, I wish I... Oh, see, I wish you could time travel. Oh, so now I have to deal with uh, fucking secondhand smoke now. Ugh, I don't know. Either way, I, I managed to create like a makeshift um, solving problem by just putting electrical tape and taping it and trying to close the gaps. That seems to be working, but I have to fix it with the uh, with the closet and hope that hopefully that'll work. But, you know, of course, I gotta have my... It's actually nice to have these masks because I actually use these to prevent myself from getting sick from breathing in all the fucking dirty large particles. So uh, let's, let's hope I don't get sick. So I mean, so far it's actually worked. I haven't really gotten sick yet, you know. Uh, knock on my table wood. Is this even made of wood? Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week are 13 still, so not really a whole lot yet. Uh, I guess Google's still getting going through the data. I haven't uh, done any pre-looking research at all today, so it is going to be off the cuff. Well, that's what we like. And, of course, we got a couple people just, you know, worried about the coin swap. It's just like, oh, my God. Like, you guys don't even have that many coins, and already, like, you know, it's just, like, it's it's so annoying. Like, I, I get why Mike Cernovich behaves the way that he does. And in my case, I think I'm actually going to probably behave more like that. That's why I cannot be Amazon. Where, where the customer is basically always right. In this case, they're not always fucking right. They're, they're actually the complete opposite. They're fucking dead wrong. It's going to like make us all lose fucking money. So, yeah. So, anyway. But we're obviously going to go ahead with it. I, just, I think Mitch should be able to resist all that stuff, too. I mean, I'll explain it to him, too. Otherwise, I'll have to put my foot down, too. Because, you know, it's max supply is 1 million. That's not negotiable. It's already too fucking high at 1 million. But I mean, at this point, it's like, all ah, right, we'll just start with a million. And then JMC coin, I don't really give a shit. You know, we're just going to, like, destroy all the fucking supply and restart the... We're basically restarting the coin. So, you know, it's like, it, it'll be worth it, though, because, you know, our coin's going to be worth, like, you know, so much money. So, 404, uh, JMC will start producing income again, and then I can get back to making my, at minimum, $100 a day mining this shit, because I'm so sick and tired of this this crap you know there's you know jeff bezos i mean as a lot of things that he did was bad he did a lot of good good things too obviously you know like he's he because his constant drive was the future is happening i'm paraphrasing right but you know the future is happening and we're going to get left behind so we have to move quickly we have to move about the exact jeffism that he uses but it's like we have to move fast or something like that right he didn't rest and yeah i can see why because basically, Bar by the time Barnes and Noble f figured out that the internet was everything, too late. Amazon was already was already ahead of the curve. 
by the time Walmart figured out online retailing, it was like 2008 to 2012, it was too late. Amazon was already a multi deca billionaire company doing t- billions of dollars in sales. It was too late. So in my case, um, I think I have probably more time. That's the difference. Uh, simply because I'm willing to do things that just businesses will not do. Um, so I'll do it. Right. So I guess that's one nice thing about, you know, having met Mike Cernovich, even though he's kind of just kind of going on a very angry, I don't know. I haven't actually gone on his Twitter timeline in a while, but I know he still occasionally tweets anti-China stuff, which I don't like, but you know, at least he hasn't gone ultra crazy about it yet. So we'll see. And I know Nick Fuentes has kind of stopped talking about it too. So, oh, well, either way, they're all good. I mean, I already see the future. Mike's going to have such a hard time. Nick Fuentes and the Groypers once they start butting heads. Uh, so anyway, Bitcoin does is at 65.4%. 24 of them is 174.8 billion approximately. So it's a decent amount. Uh, Bitcoin's dropped back down to 8804. Uh, Litecoin's 4767. Uh, I assume markets today are down. Yep. Uh, let's see. Doggy coin is 308.7 million market cap. Uh, oh, I probably skipped Hive. Where's Hive? Hive, 40.22 cents. Oh, good. So I could pick up some Hive again. Because I can't actually buy Steam anymore. Uh, so steam is at 18.78 cents. All right. That's not too bad then. All right. So it looks like today's a down day. So what's actually going on? Uh, Ooh, China tariffs. Yes. So it looks like, uh, Trump, I mean, technically China does have to be punished for, you know, causing this problem, especially now that he's been doing his investigation. And it should be pretty clear to Trump by now that China actually did deliberately cause this whole situation in the first place. And they tried to lie and cover it up, you know. And he was, I mean, Trump has been pretty good about trying to avoid assigning blame to everyone because they assume there's some kind of, like, thing. Uh, but now it looks like it just doesn't matter. All right, so markets are, so this is actually a pretty big fundamental shift, so we're definitely going to read that. GDP contracts for the first time in six years. All right. So I mean, the one-two punch of China retaliation plus the government shutdown by the uh, Democrats, they're deliberately tanking this economy now just to hurt Trump. And it's, uh, and, it's clear, and clearly it's the right move for them because it's working. I mean, Trump's already like, this is supposed to be 70 to 30 in Trump's favor, but it's actually close to 50-50. And Joe Biden like endorsed Pete, but uh, oh yeah, I got gotta make sure I don't yeah like uh, uh Mayor Pete uh, B- B- Buttigieg, think that's the proper way to pronounce his name. Can't use the way I used to pronounce it because I gotta avoid getting deep platformed, right? And he endorsed him for I think president or something. I didn't read the uh, article about it yet, but it, that sounds like something Joe Biden would do. And people are like, ah, who cares? <laughs> it's like, jeez, man. Stocks full Amazon shares tumble after earnings. So surprisingly, Amazon actually like I don't know. It's, no, that's my that's the shitty AMZ. Eh? We want actual Amazon. Oh wow, Amazon's down six percent. Uh, okay, so this could be good actually, because maybe now Jeff Bezos is gonna go like, okay, you know what? As much as I don't like Trump, whether Republicans or conservatives, if I don't fucking join Elon Musk and tell everybody to reopen this country, I'm gonna be fucking gone. So, uh, stock market lose, da, 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 face a divorce of trivity, Fed failure, risk of fully divorce of trivity, uh, miss rent and mortgage payments are rippling across the economy. Uh, more of end with the bank, but cascade through nine trillion dollar mortgage backed securities. Yes, the uh, com- the Tom Barrick commercial real estate guy warned about this. The Fed has said though that they are already on top of it. So, uh, I don't know, this is from Quartz. Is this an actual article? Is it going to make me go to a third party? Yeah, it's going. It's making me go to a third party. Nah, I don't know. I really don't like this because usually it's pretty low quality shit. Uh, okay, I don't need the. All right, I'm not gonna read that because they're talking about the MBS thing like they did in 2008, 2009, and we already know from the Tom Barrett guy, it's not that same situation. The the problem is liquidity. People need cash in their hands. The fundamental f- assets in the financial system itself is actually stable. 
right? But the problem is, it's a system. It, requ it still requires people to pay their bills, right? So they need to reopen the economy. It's it's different. It's different from 2008, 2009. It actually is different this time because the fundamentals are different. Uh, blah, 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 Olive Garden, mm, Olive Garden. Parent reopened nearly all of its dining rooms in Georgia. Here are the new coronavirus thing. Okay, yes. Mm. I always liked Olive Garden. There's actually one in uh, Midtown Manhattan. Um, kind of want to go there someday. Uh, you know, in fact, after this lockdown's over, maybe, because I actually want to just have dinner with the entire family, you know, for like, you know, mom and dad's day, because obviously we can't. Okay. Well, normally I don't visit them, but I think they would do us all good to just get together. Thing is, I can because now I'm thinking maybe I don't want to go to Chinatown, right? Because I'm actually kind of worried about you know mass shooters wanting to wipe us out because <laughs> they're fucking angry about coronavirus, you know. So, uh, so I don't know. I will have to think about it. Uh, but JMC is six to seven, so it's really seven to eight, doing fine as usual. Four oh four, six to seven, not much changes from yesterday. Uh, four, four, uh, two by two, sixty-six to sixty-seven. Uh, let me see what's actually going on here. Uh, oh, okay, it's just your typical buy sell. All right, I mean, it's a little weak on the sell side, but all right, five. I mean, maybe be, maybe some people now know about the swaps and maybe they're dumping the coins, which is just fine because I don't care because we're going to raise the price up anyway. So you dump your coins, you're literally just walking away uh, from basically like what, 30 to $70 a day in income. I mean, it's your loss. I don't give a shit. You know, we're, we're, we're bulleting ahead, right? Because if we keep this the way it is, it's going to go down even further and it's going to become like Sprouts and 808 coin. It's like people have no fucking vision. Uh, oh, that's my dad. I'll have to call him later. Oh, hey, uh, did Uncle Joey get on and pop to one, okay? Yeah, yeah trust me, it's, that, I, that's, that's like broken Fuchinese, I think. All right, anyway, I basically told him, I'm working right now, I'll call you back after. That's basically what I said. All right, so, yes, yeah, so that means I gotta hurry this up. Uh, so, I already said this, so... Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how the swap affects 404. Uh, let's see. Of course, 282 is going to be fine. JMC coin, I mean, it's already been pretty battered, so I'm not too worried about this. Uh, compound coin is 5,500 to 6,300, 6,400 Satoshis of a dog coin. So it's not too bad. You know, it's doing, doing pretty well. Uh, let's see, JMC. Shit, I'm kind of distracted about my dad, so yeah, all right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, G -G -G. Yeah. So basically, everything's going to be stable. However, I really do need to find out what this Trump tariff thing is because that is a pretty big fundamental. All right. So let's see. Is there any? That's a very nice thumbnail, by the way. Oh, man. I hit the refresh button again and lost it. Uh. But D, 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 B, B. Oh, one of the things I'm going to do is as Bitcoin rises and crypto rises a lot, I'm going to compare it to the price of gold and then just say gold and silver is a, is a stupid investment, you know, <laughs> and I'm just going to keep doing that because I also need to purge my Twitter account of all the retards that follow me, specifically the boomers that are just like, I mean, I'm already having a lot of people unfollow me because I unfollowed them, and, you know, and I don't like having to do that, but. You know, humans don't take you seriously when, you know, you have your fallbacks and shit. It's, it's, it's so stupid. Uh, but, you know, that's also another reason why I want IQ tests for, uh, for voting. But that's a different topic. But anyway, yeah, I just need to purge my shit. Because um, I also did a lot of research yesterday. Because I didn't actually really do anything yesterday. I played some uh, Tarkov. Of course, I died to a hacker, so I just quit playing. I mean, we're getting close to the wipes. So there's no point in playing anymore. I had to decide between Star Traders Frontiers, which is this game, uh, and Drug Dealer Simulator, and I, I chose uh, Drug Dealer Simulator. Oh, it's on the App Store. Oh, they have a simple. Oh, there's a simplified version of that game on the App Store, and they put the more complicated one here on Steam. Uh, so yeah, so this game was pretty cool, but there doesn't seem to be much, and it's also got a pretty big learning curve. 
So I was like, yeah, I don't really, it's like, you know, I'm going to be programming soon, right? Because now that I'm done with the book. So it's like, I need something simpler. So I went like drug dealer simulator. Uh, so, but I spent most of my time yesterday researching censorship, advertising, specifically why do advertisers, A, don't like uh, bad content? It's like, why do they care? Um, but apparently they think that if people see an ad, well, let's say Disney and runs on like a, you know, anti-Semitic, you know, YouTube video, right? People are going to think, oh, that brand is anti-Semitic. Um, and of course, fake news terrorists were saying, hey, you know, hey, Disney, your ads are showing up on these anti-Semitic videos. You're supporting anti-Semitism and terrorism and blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, shit, you're right. And, and then they freak out. That's actually the, that's actually what caused all the censorship in the first place. Um, and of course, Google is now being more aggressive about it, Facebook, Twitter, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, so we already know the whole deal with that, but I'm looking, I'm trying to like, look at why do they really care that much, right? Some people don't care because I'm going to be in that category. I don't care, but maybe I should care. All right. I mean, I'm not going to really, I mean, I'm not really going to be that big of like in my case, the only reason why I would restrict, oh yeah, they also saw that there were a lot of things about banned keywords, banned topics, banned websites. And advertisers literally just banned everybody. And then they realized, you know, what? We, we can't do anything about this. It's like we're now we're banning everything. Now we can't reach anything. It's like, yeah, it's like you, you guys are just too paranoid about it. You know, people are even banning uh, any article that talked about Donald Trump. And then and then eventually everyone realized, you know what? We're all getting hurt. We're not getting your advertising revenue and you're not getting access to our audience. Right. Like nobody wins. So, you know, it's like. Yeah, so in my case, uh, I probably just don't care. I'm just going to advertise wherever. The only reason why I would restrict certain things is only because I want a specific audience. I don't want boomers following my shit because it's pretty obvious. They don't play games. They don't do cryptocurrency. And all they do is just piss me off on Twitter. All right? they're, they're, they're totally fucking worthless to me. So where were, we, where were we? So, you know, what do I want? Ah. I want the young people and I want people I'm still figuring out I think I've come up with 40 to 45 years old right because I because I want the generation after the boomers so basically I think that's generation X or Y right so something like that um, but even that I'm sorry pretty close stretch because I'm also gonna start off with targeting right-wing people first so so I think my target demographic is going to be 17 year old people because money might be, I mean, I'm not going to be doing, I mean, I don't know when will I do, I mean, I'll be a very limited spend. So I don't know, I'll probably just do like men, male 17 to 45, I guess. All right. I think the, I think the actual demographic that everyone targets is 18 to 35 or something. I mean, I forgot. It's been a while since Mike even mentioned the, the coveted temp demographic. That's essentially what I'm going to do. And I just leave it at that. Ripple says XRP runs value surge, $8 value, crypto, uh, crypto, no, no. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, Sony Marion Enterprising, gonna buy Crypto Whale Whisper. Uh, yes. Uh, reconnect. I did not want to hit the reconnect button. Crypto Whale compares Bitcoin. Bull run to early days of 2017. Um, I guess we could read this. I mean, we kind of already know this already, too. I have to admit, that is a pretty nice thumbnail. Oh, I thought that was a man, though, but all right, whatever. Uh, Bitcoin is uh angle BTC, bringing the whale. His tweet mirrors the one he made back in 2017 in the early days. Okay. Crazy how they had to take a song to shake people out before the halving. Crazy how we're still going to 30K. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, the fundamental is going to be different. We're going to be ending on that. Joe is currently facing twenty thousand D to nobody. Okay, all right. So basically, he didn't really actually say anything new. They had some details here, but who cares? But he's basically say, yeah, we're going straight to the moon. Uh, I'll keep this open in case we wanted it for a thumbnail. All right, I looked at the Trump thing. He's just doing his typical election stuff. Uh, I'm only checking to see if. Uh, 
okay. Because I went to get my free food, and the and the fucking thing said, and they had a sign on the on the school that says, "We are not serving. Go to over a different location." So not only did I go to a more dangerous neighborhood, but it was literally two miles away. I was like, "Yeah, fuck that." All right, so I am gonna use this. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. Because I do want to see if I can get some free food. All right, there we go. Food bank. All right, so free food. Um, so they're cleaning everything. Uh, 24 hours, geez. Uh, based on data, playbook test. So they want to test, trace, and isolate or building armored tracers. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Then here's Mike Bloomberg actually doing something, supposedly. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so nothing about reopening. That's all I care about, obviously, is reopening. All right. So Trump is going to th do more tariffs. Stocks sank on London on Friday after Trump threatened to impose new tariffs on China over the coronavirus crisis. This, I think, would actually be the most prudent move. So that way, people could who don't like Chinese people, just for the sake of not liking Chinese people, at least they can you know, get something. And on the other hand, it does actually punish China for actually causing this problem. So it's a nice, well-balanced approach. The FTC 100 Index of Britain's... Uh, and I tell you, China's been very belligerent lately anyway. So, I mean, they, they're continually quintupled down on blaming everybody but themselves. So, I mean, you know, that's karma. Yeah, I don't care about the other markets. I just know they went down. Fine. Many leading stocks in Asia were closed for Labor Day. They, they celebrate May. Uh, I guess that's when they celebrate May, uh, Labor Day. Several countries where markets remain open also saw Trump's stress escalate US China tensions dent investors' confidence. Okay. Futures point of fall in US stocks are Friday. Da, da, da. It comes to Trump warned late on Thursday that China's hand on the virus has, was now a more significant priority for his administration than pre crisis efforts to reach a new trade agreement amid a long running standoff. Probably because he's figured out that this also gives him a lot of leverage, too. You know? Because. Trump has leverage. I don't. I like. I'm a little surprised that he didn't uh, use it more. The U.S. president accused China of spreading misinformation on the thing. He included the claim Thursday he has seen the fire started in a Chinese lab. This is actually my position. It did start there. Uh, so now, uh, so now everyone's finally on board. Other U.S. officials have doubtful the latter claim with the virus. Why would believe by external emerge from selling market at not like as funny as this is? It's not the wildlife market. Maybe it could have, but even Tucker Carlson already did the video where he said, "Hey, we took the Chinese um, uh, CCP's facts, right?" And they said it came from this particular bat. And then he did, the, and he said, "But here's the catch: that particular bat wasn't is not in range of Wuhan within 900 miles." So it was a lie. But you know what would be in Wuhan? That particular bat in a fucking uh, virus lab. That's what it is. In other words, they don't sell that particular bat at the wet market. Yeah, so it came from the bio lab. Washington Post reports U.S. officials started to drop plans to punish or demand compensation from China over the outbreak. Uh, okay, so wow, the wild post. Okay. U.S. newspaper reports some of U.S. officials didn't follow the idea of Part, canceling part of its debt obligations to China. Yes, exactly. That's what you should be doing. All right. Because right now, all I see is people just want to fucking go to war with China and like get us all killed. Right. And it'll actually, that's actually like, you know, that game Fallout. Now, now it's owned by Bethesda. If you actually played Fallout 1 or 2, there are hollow tapes uh, um, that actually tell you the backstory to Fallout. It actually says basically that what happened was in the year 2040 to 2060 the united states and china were butting heads with each other and they and they ultimately launched nuclear weapons at each other over oil right this is basically the same fucking thing except we're we're actually bitching about you know other resources but it's the same thing it's like what what's wrong with you fucking retards who do you think is going to fight in the war against china all right and you can definitely know that me and other asians are going to get really angry about that too you know it's like like, I know we're not, you know, in China, but, like, you know, they're still my ancestral homes. It's like, can you not kill my ancestors? <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like, how would you like it if I advocated for the destruction of, like, the white race or the black race or whatever race? You know, it, even though they're outside of America, you probably wouldn't like that either, all right? So, it's like, and that's why I get annoyed, so... 
But that being said, Trump is taking the correct retaliation steps against China. Because at this point, like, China just doesn't get this. There's nothing you can do. Like, they're not playing nicely like they're supposed to, especially after causing all this damage and then fucking up our lives, especially my life. So, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, the U.S. officials started to draw a plan to punish or demand compensation from China over the outbreak. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what this uh, actual compensation and punishment will actually look like. The U.S. newspaper reports some U.S. officials... Oh, right, I already read this. So they're actually cancel some of their debt. That would work, too. I asked about the claims. Routers told Trump, Germany, well, I can do it differently. I can do the same thing, but even for more money, just by putting on tariffs, so I don't have to do that. Yeah, the simplest way is just be raise tariffs. That will be the first thing. Also, it'll punish all the fucking asshole American companies, quote unquote, that outsourced all their shit to China, right? So, of course, that what it'll mean is they'll just simply move their factories over to Vietnam or Thailand or you know some other Asian country, right? But at least it'll actually still hurt China in one form or another. That's what the claims were. I told Trump. Uh, oh, I read that. Neil, how much more of this? Is, oh, okay, that's it. All right, let's see what the idiots on... I do want to read the uh, reactions to this, too. Neil Wilson, chief market analyst at Marcus. Oh, before I go on, uh, I was actually reading a lot of articles from today uh, from that dissident right website that cannot be named, who's actually been pretty friendly towards China. Actually, very friendly, actually. And he said that this retaliation against China is just stupid and retarded because uh, a lot of Democrats... Are using this situation to attack Trump and Republicans. They don't really want to attack Chinese people, right? And again, that reinforces my whole uh, karma concept that I've been talking about this entire time of doing my videos, right? Unfortunately, I have to delete a lot of it, right? Why does God allow liberals to exist, right? Because of situations like this. Why? Because Republicans still can't fucking figure anything out. So they have to be. Um, counterbalanced by our left-wing counterparts who are obviously just as crazy all right and i am the one that's caught in the middle i get fucked in the ass from the left and the right and it's like what's the fucking point so you know now technically i still consider myself a center-right person but i mean at this point it's like the best move for me personally keep my head down keep making money help anyone who wants to be helped and then just let all these fucking f-words fight it out amongst themselves you know, I ain't gonna lift a fucking finger to help, right? I mean, like, because no matter who I choose to help, you're just gonna fuck me over anyway. So why am I gonna help you, right? And then once I do get strong, like, you know, Square Enix, Amazon, Steam, whatever, I'm definitely gonna be using my thing to start stamping out actual extremism. But it, it depends on how I want to play it, right? Because, again, there's a reason why we have extremism, right? Sometimes you do need one extremist to take on the other extremist so they cancel each other out. You just got to get out of the way when they start shooting each other, right? You know, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, what does God have to work with, right? You know, it's like, well, I mean, I don't like this, but, you know, you, you humans are just full of sin, you know? So, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Hey, have you heard the word of, you know, my son, Jesus Christ, you know, <laughs> like that's all God really cares about in the end. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, but Neil Wilson, chief market analyst at markets.com, suggested that pandemic remained far more significant than such ratcheting up attention so far for investors. Trade tensions back on the agenda won't be terribly positive for risk appetite, but now remains something on the margins. But he added that U.S. and Europe were likely to demand China steps up. Adding, if we were to talk about pre changes are taking place where trends have accelerated sharply, the deglobalization has to be at the forefront. Uh, yes. Yeah, see, even... Yeah, so basically people are actually becoming natural right-wing nationalists, right? Because you have to. All right, because you've seen the you've seen the negative effects of globalization, and you know what? And then once AI and robotics and automation take your jobs and everything that you own, all right? I, I know yesterday I did the video showing the RTX uh, voice filter on thing. That was all AI. It was like, oh my god! All the guy had to do was click a button. Like, what do you think is going to happen when all you have to do is click a button and then I don't need you anymore, right? Oh, need bricklaying service? No problem. Here's my robot. I don't need to hire anybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One more time. Tariffs are taxes that are also passed to consumers to make the trouble rate tax and no cost of severe downturn. Uh, God, people are so fucking dumb. 
Yeah, I was going to reflexively download this guy, but I realized, oh yeah, I have to be signed in. Greetings from Taiwan. Blah, blah, blah. We are so far. There have been six. Some bail on my has been alive. Very little. But please continue listening to Fox, Trump, Kushner, Minutia, and Patch. Uh, I don't know. What is this? What? Well, Donnie, you're on a path for the stock market. Something he's going to gain. Great. Depression will be all over again. Guess what happened? They imposed tariffs, which led to even harder economic collapse. Did they actually do this? I mean, there, I mean that was a different time. The reason why is because everything was tied uh, $35 to one ounce of gold. It was the gold standard that actually was causing the um, the Great Depression because they had no liquidity. It's kind of actually similar to what's happening right now. That's why ultimately we uh, moved to a full fiat system. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could also say that's things like, oh, uh, you know, President, I think Harding was his name, right? Whatever, the, guy, the the idiot that got kicked out and then replaced by FDR eventually. Yeah, I mean, you could blame a lot of his bad decisions, but I mean, ultimately, it really was just comes down to uh, the lack of money supply. The gold, there's like the gold standard was actually a real problem, right? Uh, and I know that because when I read about it, you know, I read... You know, I read, you know, I bought in the whole gold and silver thing, and they talk about how, oh, it was the gold standard that saved everyone. No, it was the one that killed everyone. So that's why you had the Great Depression. And then, of course, you had other things, too. You had, like, you know, World War One, World War Two, you know, all that cra uh, crazy shit, too. Yeah, why well, not? When you post tariffs on imports into this country, Trump pays us billion, right? Let me just check this, if that has how tariffs. Nope, Trump is trying to hurt. No, no, no. Tariffs are used to restrict imports by increasing the price of goods, making them less attractive to domestic customers. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, now I wonder who's the best of Trump. Rescue our credit as a donation by even flowing idea that America would renege on its debt. Why not? What are they going to do? Kill us? <laughs> yeah. Uh, should China dump even a fraction of the user by private sector by that's a point job so is much more expensive. Okay, so, so yeah. So this is exactly what the dissident right website that I can't even hint at. Is that Jar Jar Binks? Yeah. Like, this is mostly probably liberals and Democrats. A lot of them don't want to attack Chinese people. Thank God for that, all right? Because I know, like, there's going to, there's, I already know there's going to be probably a mass shooter that doesn't like us Asians already thinking about going on a mass murder spree, all right? You know? So I got, I got to really be careful, right? And if you're Asian, you better be fucking careful, too. Especially if you live in a more right-wing area where, like, access to guns is actually easy, right? Because here in New York City, access to guns is very hard, and, you know... The FBI and NYPD or whatever, I assume, like, they, they really track that shit, right? You know, because you know, they just simply assume, oh, you want a gun even though you're not allowed to have one. That means you must be up to no good, <laughs> all right? There's a reason why our murder rate's very low per 100,000 or whatever the metric is. I wonder who's advising Trump, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just like, uh, like, this is a real mess. Yeah, but I can't really blame Trump, though, because he's, he's literally... He's caught between 10 hard places and 50 rocks that just will not move. So, <laughs> and, all, and all the while, you know, this is happening. All right, Joe Biden, a guy who doesn't even know he's running for president, right? In fact, he probably doesn't even know his name anymore, uh, is, you know, got a reasonable chance of beating him, all right? You know, I still think Trump's going to win re-election, but I mean, it's so shaky that he really could lose this year. So uh, we're not going to use this. We're going to use this because this was actually a pretty good article. So uh, anyway, I got, oh yeah, I got called out on dead. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that uh, we can continue growing this channel. So obviously I'm done for the week. Today is a Friday. Yes, uh, Friday. I want to get back to watching Force and play Ranked Valorant. Normally I don't like watching it, but now that it's ranked, there's actually meaning to what Force is doing. So I'm actually watching it. Um, but that being said, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Unless, of course, something big, big, big happens over the weekend. But from what I can tell, um, I was actually expecting things to go back up because fundamentally things are getting better. 
However, uh, this actually is going to have a tremendously big fundamental impact. Um, you know, because not only is everyone actually uh, thinking correctly-ish, uh, I don't actually know how far they're going to want to take this uh, anti-China route. So we're just going to have to see what happens. But clearly the markets understand that it's going to have a very negative impact on the economy. So um, I don't know. It's it's up in the air. But in the meantime, that basically means, yeah, this bull run is going to be, you know, slower. So uh, the faster we reopen, which I haven't seen any new news about that, you know, the better. But then that'll be counterbalanced by the new China tariffs uh, and the new China punishments, apparently, that are coming down the pipeline. Um, and with that being said, that probably means crypto's probably going to remain basically at this point. Uh, it could even dip a little bit. Uh, I mean, there's just we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. But I know one thing's for sure. I'm not going to be expecting a bull run uh, next week. Uh, obviously, I hope that it'll happen, but there's too many variables. So we just have to add the weekend. So we're just going to have to wait till Monday to see what actually is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Remel is down at 291. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it goes. All right, see you all Monday. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here is our thumbnail. Actually, can I move it? No, that's too, that's too, that's too much of a gap. We'll just use this.